Take a look at the most ruthless group of thugs the new DC Cinematic Universe has to offer. Warner Brothers has released the first official photo of the new Suicide Squad, including Will Smith as Deadshot, Margot Robbie as Harlequin, and Joel Kinnaman as Rick Flagg. This follows the recent unveiling of Jared Leto as the film's new version of the most iconic DC bad guy, the Joker. The Suicide Squad is a group of captured supervillains who carry out dangerous black ops missions for the U.S. government in exchange for their freedom. The new film will hit theaters in 2016 and is one of many new titles in the DC universe that also includes Batman vs. Superman and the upcoming Justice League movies. And you'll be able to play as a classic DC do-gooder for the first time in Batman Arkham Knight. The new game's season pass will include extra missions where players take control of Batman's butt-kicking ally, Batgirl. She's appeared in the previous Arkham games, but this is the first time that she'll actually be playable. The season pass will also include extra story missions for Batman and other characters, along with new challenge maps, character skins, and classic versions of the Batmobile. The only problem is that, as many fans have pointed out, the game's season pass will cost a whopping $40, which is a lot more than most other games. Players will just have to decide for themselves if it's worth it when Arkham Knight arrives on June 23rd. Sure. Is this what I think it is? We got a lot of Batman stuff to talk about. That puts a big smile on my face. Here to help me talk about this stuff is my pal Marissa Roberto. They just want to pinch them when you talk about Batman. I love it. I'm supposed to look manly when I talk about Batman. All right, so we've got uh, the Arkham Knight season pass is set at 40 bucks. Yes. Do you want to spend that other 40 bucks and get all the extra? Do you want to play as playable Batgirl in her okay. own separate mission? Hold the phone here for a yeah. second because yes. you know I am with my first strings. Mm -hmm. uh, so no, I don't want to spend all that dough. And and then I kind of start feeling like, shouldn't this just all be part of the main package? Shouldn't we all get the same things if we're all uh, fans of this game? I just feel like I want to pay one price and that's it. And that's how I'm starting to feel about every game now with the DLC that comes out later. Like, why wasn't this just here in the first place? Well, you know how the economy of video games yeah. has uh, greatly changed over the last little while. It takes a tremendous amount of effort for these developers to keep building these huge AAA universes and experiences sure. for us and I think that there's been so much hype and build up and delay and expectation yeah. and money poured into this thing sure. that they couldn't make it all fit within the con and you're getting a ton in the straight game anyways. I don't know Vic, I feel like they can make it all they fit could. but we just need to now follow these rules of the way games are released now yeah. and how waiting and we have to wait for more things. Well I think if you're in that boat you wait an extra year and you get the game of the year you get the complete edition you know sure, but yes, if you want it all now You'll be buying Thank it all now. You. <laughs> all right, now more Batman news, or a sort of a tangent of Batman news, is the Suicide Squad images are starting to be revealed. We've yeah. seen Jared Leto in the, uh, is it Leto or Leto? I say Leto. Leto, Jared Leto. We've seen him in the Joker uh, visage. I like this photo of him. Yeah. I like it. I feel like it's a very new age uh, Joker. I feel like this is the crazy guy that you can see on the street now. Yeah. Uh, so I totally buy this. Even with the tats and all that? With all the tats. Because yeah. I just feel like, okay, if you're going to go that way, he went that way and he went all for it. And I think that's the kind of character he would be. Now, the Suicide Squad image does not impress me at all. And it that kind of terrifies me about the quality of the movie because it looks like a bunch of cosplayers, doesn't it? Yes, it does. But also, how else could they have made just a generic photo look? I feel like they were just shooting the movie. Movie, and then they yeah. just said, okay, you guys get to this wall right here. We're going to do They finally got the whole cast all together, yeah. which is another problem. Look yes. at the enormous size of this cast, including we have a guy playing Killer Croc. Yes. You know, like, is that going to be a it's high point on that guy's no, resume? No, there's not enough time for us to get to know all these characters. I just know a few of them. Yeah. So getting to know all of them in this movie is going to be too much. Uh, but right now, we've got a little story on The Witcher 3, thanks to me. Mm -hmm. The Rundown is brought to you by EB Games.